Hello my lovely viewers. This is Titi Stray here. Today I am going to do pen and ink. Although I do most of my paintings with oil and acrylic, I also love to do black and white artworks. Now I don't know how it goes. I did few pen and ink artworks during my school life while I was going to attend art classes. I'm sharing two among those with you. One was on Mona Lisa and other one was on Friendship. I still miss those two paintings a lot as I have only pictures of those as memory, not the actual paintings. It took good amount of time to finish, almost six months. And this painting has not come out of my imagination. I got it on internet. I am attaching here with the reference photo so that it becomes easier to relate. The photo that I received on internet was colored. But I am doing in black and white. In this picture, I felt friendship and hence I started this. Hope you do will love it. Before you even start making parenting artwork, you will need to make two important choices. What kind of paint and paper will you use? There are many types of paints available for drawing such as fountain paint, drafting paint, technical paint and ball paints. Any of this type of paint can be used to create fine art. Each type of paint will result in a different quality of line. The kind of paint you prefer will depend on the type of line you would like to create. Bearing in mind such qualities as thickness or thinness of the line and fluidity versus control. My favorite one is technical paint. I especially love the super tiny nibs point zero zero five because they allow for lots of detail. Now come to our paper. There are many different types of paper that you can use for your pen and ink drawings. You can also use papers that are designed for painting as well as drawing. For instance, watercolor paper is great for pen and ink drawings. It's important to understand that when using these techniques, we are creating marks and lines. By repeating marks and lines, we do not only create value but also a certain visual texture. If we are not mindful about how we draw these marks, we can create effect in a piece that are too distracting and that don't really help describe our subject effectively. If you are a pen and newbie, I will show you few basic techniques and you decide which ones you like the most. Then see what combination work best with your personal style. And don't worry about making mistakes. If you have some drawing and shading experience, then you can understand this technique very easily. Please remember, there are no strict rules how an artist should approach textures. So, if you feel like your process is slightly different from someone else, that is completely fine. All you need is a pen and piece of paper and you are ready to make art. Technical drawing paint have a number of special features which make them quite different from other paints. Assorted sets of 6 paints includes 1 each of 0.5 mm, 0.1 mm, 0.2 mm, 0.3 mm, 0.5 mm and 0.8 mm. So our first basic technique is hatching. As like our pencil shading. But here we can use paint instead of pencil. Hatching involves making a series of straight lines on your paper. The closer together you place the marks and darker you will look. 
attaching involve making a series of straight lines on your paper. The second one is cross hatching. Cross hatching is just like hatching except that the lines cross over each other. The more that the lines cross, the darker the value. Here, one more technique. If you have more patience, then you can go with this. Stippling involves making lots and lots of tiny dots on the paper. If you cluster the dots tightly together, they will seem darker and will give your drawing a form. This is circular stroke. Circular stroke is very common but can still be very useful for certain effects. You can use this type of some curved strokes or wavy strokes also. The more marks created, the more ink is covering the surface and you will get the darker value. The less marks created, the less ink is covering the surface and you will get the lighter value. I mean, the more dots and lines we use while drawing one layer on top of another, the more darker color will be created for us. If we use lesser dots and colors, the result will be lighter color. I had started the drawing with very light pencil, then I took my 0.05 technical pen. I first did the girl's face with stippling technique, then added few lines for her hair. I use stippling technique mostly with pen ink because we can go more into the details especially when we draw face. Actually, different artists use different art techniques. I feel you have noticed that many artists finish part by part of artwork. However, I love to do complete composition as a whole step by step. The reason behind this approach is I become more aware of dark or light color required. We should always start with light and go towards darker and then we have very less sense of errors. And Perenic is a medium where we can rectify later. We can rectify in pencil works and also add oil painting to a nurse extent. I think if we do something, we have to stay focused and we must stick to it. There is no such strict rule in panelling and in that you can make mistakes in terms of rule. If you have done doodle or jentangle, then it will be easier for you to work on different designs. I have been doing this artwork with very basics like hatching, cross hatching, stippling, scumbling and some wavy lines. I am repeating. There are six types of paints in terms of technical paints. You will get paints of different thickness which I showed you a little. Initially I use lighter ones, I mean thin line paints like 0 0.05, 0.1 and 0.2. After that while you see that your painting needs more darker color then use paints like 0.5 or 0.8. I am showing the things very slowly here for easy understanding. Be 
sure to subscribe and like if you find this video helpful and definitely I would love to see your response. If you have any doubt you can comment me below. This is not only the way to do pen and ink, this is one technique from one artist. There are several techniques you can see on internet. I hope you will like this video.